Sally Ann Howes, a seasoned actress with a rich career, is often remembered for her diverse roles. When thinking about lesser-known aspects of her life, interesting stories emerge, adding layers to her persona. When it comes to defining moments, one might debate which work truly captures her impact. Whether it's a hidden gem or a widely acclaimed performance, opinions vary. What stays in the hearts of many are personal connections to this classic actor. What's your most loved memory or experience related to Sally Ann Howes? Share your stories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we reveal funny, surprising, and touching facts. Keep watching for more insights into the life and career of this talented artist. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments, and let's celebrate the contributions of Sally Ann Howes together. Sally Ann Howes made a lasting impression in the film industry, influencing Hollywood during her time and beyond. She showcased her acting skills in various roles, leaving a memorable impact on audiences. Her ability to portray different characters added depth to the movie experience. Beyond her on-screen work, Howes contributed to the power of storytelling through her craft. Audiences appreciated her as a symbol of enduring talent, creating a legacy that still captivates film enthusiasts. What sets House apart is not just the characters she played, but the personal connections formed with each role. Viewers remember not only her on-screen presence, but also appreciate the artistry she brought to storytelling. As we explore Sally Ann Howe's career, let's celebrate an actress who, through her performances, became part of cinematic history. Her influence goes beyond her era, making her a figure whose impact continues in Hollywood's ever-evolving landscape. Sally Ann Howe's connection with the character Truly Scrumptious in the film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang marked a crucial point in her career. Film producer Albert R. Broccoli, known for his work on James Bond movies, aimed to recreate the success of Mary Poppins and brought in familiar talents, including songwriters Richard M. Sherman and Robert B. Sherman. Despite efforts to reunite Dick Van Dyke and Julie Andrews, the role eventually went to Howes, a decision some saw as an attempt to emulate Andrews' success in Mary Poppins. In another venture, House played Mrs. Higgins in a touring company of My Fair Lady in September 27, showcasing her versatility in stage performances. This role highlighted her ability to handle diverse characters and contribute to different parts of the entertainment industry. An interesting story from Howe's time in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang came up during an interview with Rosie O'Donnell. Howe's revealed the challenge of filming the complex choreography of the song doll on a music box. Despite its difficulty, she managed to nail the sequence in one take, emphasizing her professionalism and commitment to her craft. These varied experiences in film and stage productions showcase Howe's adaptability as an actress. Whether embodying the whimsical Truly Scrumptious or the refined Mrs. Higgins, she left a lasting impact on the entertainment landscape. Her ability to seamlessly transition between different roles and master challenging choreography adds depth to her contributions as a performer. Sally Ann Howes, currently serving as an artistic advisor for the Palm Beach Theater Guild since February 2006, continues to play a significant role in the world of theater. Beyond her advisory position, she made a lasting impression as truly scrumptious in the film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Notably, the dirndl she wore in the doll on a music box scene reflected a more traditional Bavarian style, moving away from modern trends. Interestingly, the role of truly scrumptious was first offered to Julie Andrews, who declined. Howes stepped into the role, having previously replaced Andrews in the Broadway production of My Fair Lady. This connection in their careers highlights the dynamics of casting and opportunities in the industry. Howes' portrayal of truly scrumptious in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang stands out as a pivotal moment. Film producer Albert R. Broccoli aimed to recreate the success of Mary Poppins and enlisted talents like Howes, showcasing her adaptability. Despite initial plans to reunite Dick Van Dyke and Julie Andrews, Howes brought a distinct charm to the character. In an interview with Rosie O'Donnell, Howes shared insights into the challenges faced during the filming of the choreography in the song Doll on a Music Box. Her ability to execute the sequence in one take highlighted her professionalism and dedication to her craft, solidifying her reputation as a skilled actress. Beyond the screen, Howes demonstrated her versatility by playing Mrs. Higgins in a touring company of My Fair Lady in September 27. This further emphasized her ability to handle diverse roles in both film and stage productions. 
Sally Ann Howe's journey, characterized by unexpected opportunities and smooth transitions between characters, showcases her lasting influence on the entertainment landscape. From her advisory role in the Palm Beach Theater Guild to her memorable performances in films, she remains a figure whose contributions continue to be felt. Sally Ann Howes received a Tony Award nomination in 1963 for her role in the revival of Brigadoon, showcasing her talent in musical theater. Beyond the stage, she became a key part of Richard Adler's family, adopting his two sons after his first wife passed away in 1964. Christopher Adler, a Broadway director and lyricist, and Andrew Hart Adler, an artist under Willem de Kooning's apprenticeship, joined her extended family. During the 1960s and 1970s, she collaborated frequently with actors and singers Earl Wrightson and Lois Hunt, making a significant impact on both television and the musical stage. Their collective efforts contributed to the lively entertainment scene of that time. Sally Ann Howe's influence extended to the screen, particularly in the film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Despite initial plans to cast Julie Andrews, Howe's took on the role, adding her charm to Truly Scrumptious. The traditional Bavarian style she brought to the doll on a music box scene, departing from modern trends, showcased her ability to shape characters. Since February 2006, Sally Ann Howes has been advising the Palm Beach Theater Guild, remaining a significant figure in the theater world. Her unexpected journey from Broadway to Hollywood, coupled with her seamless transition between diverse roles, highlights her lasting influence in entertainment. Whether adopting a stage role or extending her family off-screen, Howes has made notable contributions that continue to have an impact in the entertainment world. In the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Sally Ann Howes took on the role of truly scrumptious, stepping in after Julie Andrews declined. This decision was intentional, aiming to recreate the success of Mary Poppins and showcased Howes' adaptability. At the end of filming in 1968, she thanked wardrobe mistress Wynne Keeley with a gold bracelet charm shaped like the film's car, highlighting their camaraderie during production. Before Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, House followed with Julie Andrews in the original Broadway version of My Fair Lady, emphasizing the dynamics of casting in the entertainment industry. Beyond the screen, House continued her impact in theater, serving as an artistic advisor for the Palm Beach Theater Guild since February 2006. Her advisory role reflects ongoing involvement in shaping the theatrical landscape. Adding another layer to her life, Howes is a grandmother to two grandchildren, showcasing the depth of her experiences beyond the spotlight. In summary, Sally Ann Howes' career is marked by diverse roles, unexpected opportunities, and seamless transitions between characters. From Broadway to Hollywood, she remains influential both on and off the screen, maintaining a genuine connection with the entertainment world.